So what you might want to do is mute the Twitch stream because uh, you know the way it's a little bit of an audio lag from me talking. So you might want to mute it there, and I'll try and like talk. It seems to be yeah from me talking. So you might want to mute it there. Well, I don't I don't actually stream anything, so yeah. Do you need TwitchCon to view? I don't think you do. Uh -huh. do you? Yeah, just go and see it. I prefer an add on. And you don't all have to be on. Like, if there's two of you with laptops next to each other, just look at it. It's just a tiny little yeah. just bit I want to show you. Okay. Yeah? Just one of you needs to. <laughs> Oh, well, was... Well, she's mad. <laughs> she used me a tight... I thought it was an open one. You're the only class I feel like I need voice description for all the other Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all got it, yeah? Do you yeah. see my screen? Yeah. All right, let's, let me know if you can't. Okay, cool. So, we are going to do um, 3D animation. Um, we're going to do character animation first. I was going to start you off with a vehicle and stuff, but in some ways it's actually, in some ways it's a little more confusing. Um, and we're going to be making like a really simple character. Like this is one of the ones that I would kind of like, like you to look at. This is in the inspiration for classes, by the way. So that, you know, that collection that I have, um, if you go to my my kind of page and go to collections there's one that's all your work and stuff and then there's one that's like inspiration for classes if you go into that uh, i just added a few like kind of little character models that are probably good for you to look at little low poly ones that are a bit simple so there's two ways you can do character modeling you can go from low poly um and you just keep it low poly you can go from low poly to high poly so you have a low poly base model and you sculpt polygons on it um, or you can go high poly to low poly, which we are probably going to do at the end. And high poly to low poly is like, you know, you go to Mudbox, you sculpt in there, and then you re it and then rig it. So one thing I'd like you to pay attention to is, in these models, right, what they have, if you all know, if you go to Model Inspector down here, and you hit wireframe, you can always see the kind of, the, the, the wireframe of the model, basically. So there's something I'd like you to notice if you can see, like, on the arm and the elbow bit, is it wiggling around the elbow bit? Can you see it? There's, like, multiple little um, tree slits, yeah. And you need always a, a minimum, at least my opinion, is a minimum of three. And I'll show you the reason why I'm bored. And it's essentially to make sure that things bend properly. Um, so, we all know that if I want to, if I want to have a curve, in 3D modeling, you need to have segments, right? Because you can't have a curve without segments. So if I want to make a point and a point, you can only have a straight line. If I want to make an angle bend, I need like a point and a point and another point. So you get a vertex like that. Correct, Mondo? Yeah. All right. So what happens is when I bend my arm, I need to have the same kind of thing. Because if I bend my arm, say I have a cylinder with just pure side view, and it's only one segment here, as opposed to this cylinder, and it's got three. OK? Um, when I bend the first one, it's going to look like that. And what you're going to get is you're going to get a pinching here, because it's just going to like squish. With the other one, hopefully, if you've rigged it correctly, you'll get something like this. And you get like an actual kind of like bend curve, and it'll, it'll curve a lot better, okay? So that's essentially why they have those segments cut there. Same thing for knees. Same exact thing for knees. Uh, same exact thing for kind of like hips and stuff. It is laptop. Jeez, are you serious? What is it? I don't know. Yeah, why is it cooking? It happens to. Uh, it happens to Ian's No. Okay, like just don't touch it. Um. So, so you need those kind of segments in order to bend, and you'll see on the fingers they have them as well. But because this character is a very low body model, ideally you should have little tiny triple slits as well on the fingers so they bend correctly but it's a really small low poly model so i think they don't mind if it like if you can see like a, a really big just, bend do you like a really good low poly character who walks in brianna yeah so that's the other one if you go to i was gonna say that at the end oh, sorry. that's okay uh but 
if you go again to the collections and you go to the asset design ones, you should be able to see from last year, there's a few of them who did characters as well. Um, so I don't know where Brianna's one is. Uh, this one is from Chris, for example. I think it's fairly low poly as well. Let me just check. Come on. And wireframe. Cool. So I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you should be able to see. You can see like, but the only thing is here that this is from Chris. Ideally, you would have kind of um, give them a bit more space to bend. Um, the segments are a little squished close to each other. Okay, so ideally he would have had the tree segments are fine, but ideally they should be further away, and that's why you see the knee kind of like folds almost because the segments don't have enough space to bend. It's the same as doing like again if I have the three segments, this one is spaced out nicely, and this one is like close together. Um, this one is able to curve way more because it's like they're spaced out evenly. Whereas this one can only really curve in that small area, can't really curve anywhere else. So you kind of get this squash effect. So just like space amount of time a bit. Um, something to think about is literally just if, if you're not sure how much you space them on, it's literally your knee. So if I have a cut here, that's where my knee's going to bend. Where's the top of my knee and where's the bottom of my knee? That's generally when you put the segments. We're literally like copying the anatomy of the human body. And the same with the elbows. So here's where the, the Cut of my arm are, where's the, where can you feel? This is my bottom of my elbow, and I can feel the top of my elbow. It's essentially where you want to put the, the, the cuts. And, and if you do that, it should generally work quite all right. Um, so you'll need to put cuts in anywhere that bends, essentially. Um, anywhere that doesn't bend, you can get away with not having a slit in, but generally you do. So like, for example, if you're, I, I don't have huge biceps, but if I wanted a bulge here, I would have to obviously have a few segments to make a bulge. Um, so anywhere that you want to have either like change in geometry or change in angle, you'll need to put a few segments in. Um, now the thing is we're trying to do low poly because we're trying to be simple as possible. Uh, we're not trying to make it too difficult. So again, I have a few others here. They're in the inspiration for classes. That Nemo one is a really good one to look at. Um, just cause it's like almost as simple as you can get away with. And then there's this one is like, if you're trying to do cloth and stuff. Lazy, it's quite a good one as well. And wireframe. You can see that this is a problem that they did where they put like very few segments in, but then they, first of all, didn't rig it correctly. So it squashes here instead of using those segments to bend. Um, and also the segments are kind of too close to each other. So it doesn't really bend that much, if that makes sense. But in terms of modeling, it's really nice. It's just the animation has a bit of an issue there. So like they added a segment in, but didn't actually use it. Um, this one is another little pretty one that we can wireframe. And you can see that that's also quite a useful one to look at. So they have done a different technique. They have this weird kind of like triple segment in the front and only a double segment in the back. Um, Cause I, I think they didn't want to have it have a little curve in the back. It's an advanced technique. I'm not expecting you to do that. You can just do the triple segments. But it's, it, it just basically means when that knee bends, the front will stretch into like one, two, three, and the back will just have two, so it will squish together a lot easier than the front. Do so you I have know, a question? I know we're going into it, and just in terms of like characters and stuff, like the one that you got now, like mm -hmm. that's one solid shape? Or is that, that is one, one solid, solid shape, shape. So yes. So that, that multiple shapes that have been like welded together? So, do you know what I characters mean? are always oh there are multiple shapes that are welded generally. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. you you can do it in many ways. You you can do it. I've seen tutorials where they're like, here's a box. We literally start from a box and they pull out everything and you extrude everything into the full shape. And I've seen others where you make the little like a cylinder for an arm, and then weld it together and then shape it or whatever. Um, both are fine. Just literally whichever way works for you. Personally, I think the making little objects and them together works a lot easier. But that's just me. Um, the other thing is not everything has to be welded. What does have to be welded is all the body parts. Okay, so if my arm is here, if I'm not a robot, if I'm a robot, it's fine. Like it can be segmented off and I can have a little bulge, ball shape in the middle. And to someone looking at it, it'll look like I have a ball joint and you don't have to weld them together. But because I'm a human, they actually need to like um, be welded together so that when I move my arm, it does something called deforming. 
So when I move, my arm is not like my arm stays perfectly correct. It's like the top of my shirt punches up and this bottom stretches out and stuff, and that's deforming. And if you weld them together, you're, you're a lot, it's a lot easier to be able to do that. Um, what you don't have to weld is like stuff like a watch, right? You can that just be a separate piece. Um, it's attached to the same game object, but it doesn't have to be welded to my skin. Um, if you're not sure what to weld or what not to weld, let you just like, it wouldn't be welded to my skin in real life. A watch wouldn't be. Clothes kind of are because they're like stuck to you. Unless you have really baggy clothes, they're kind of stuck to you. I would suggest for your first character not to make a character that has um, clothes. Like, you know, try and make a skin tight clothes kind of character. You can make it kind of bag baggy or whatever it is, but it's as if the clothes are essentially their body, you know? Try not to make like a cape or like a scarf and stuff like that. I would do that later for the second one because you need to do separate animations for those items, anything that sticks up. Uh, whereas something like myself right now, or uh, like myself right now is fine because all my clothes are like stuck in my body. But if I put my jacket on, now there's problems because my jacket has like bits that, you know, flap around and stuff and that's a completely different kettle fish. Okay. All right. So um, let's see. There's just, yeah, there's just a few of those models in there. Um, and that one's pretty nice as well. And you see the way this one does the, does that do the opposite or it's the same? Let's see. Is it the same as this one? Ah, yeah, no, it's the same. Okay, so you you can see a few of them do that interesting kind of like triple cut at the back, but then they merge it in the front, so you only have two cuts in the front. And again, that's kind of like a slightly advanced technique. As I said, I'm okay with you because you're starting off, just do triple slices, it's fine. Uh, but if you want to try that, definitely go ahead. You just need to like uh, weld it here, weld these two here, and then get rid of the, the third. Sorry, like if you had it this slice all the way through, you would connect this, connect that, and then get rid of the middle slices. Does that make sense? It's not that hard. It's just like a slightly advanced technique. Um, and then this is one. This one is a lot more high poly than I would suggest to start with. Um, the reason why I have it here is because I wanted to show you the eyes on it. So most of the other ones, the eyes are painted on. And again, for your first model, I'd say just do that. Just have your eyes painted on. You can kind of see that, right? If you actually look at the wireframe, this one has eyes. Um, but most of the others, Nemo, for example, her whole face is painted on. It's literally just like a flat bit. So again, I would suggest to do that for your first one, but I wanted to show you this because that's kind of how you would do eyes or nose or features like that. Um, this head probably started with a box and there's a, remember to spherify it. You can take a box and spherify it. Mm -hmm. You would take a box, spherify it, and then use maybe FFD to like squash it into the shape of the head. And then, like, you can add eye features, nose features, and eye features. Uh, sorry, um, eyes, nose, and ear features. Um, I have an old game character that I have made. Um, how do I turn on wireframe? And this is the head, essentially. It's the same. Let me just make sure the CAD rig stuff is hidden. The CAD rig stuff is the stuff for animation. So, like, these little... These little things, if I rotate it, you should be able to see the head kind of follows it. Where is the cat rig hub? Give me two secs. I'm trying to find the hub. Where is it? Hub, 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 hub. H I J K. Where is it? <laughs> I know where it is. I think it's. What? Well, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why. I, and this is a simple character. I can show you one that's like not simple, like oh my god, it's it's very messy. So like um, that's why I, I would really recommend when we start, we go as simple as possible. Just you get really understand the basics, and then that way you can move on to way more complicated stuff. I'll show you. Um, I don't know if anyone ever looks at my profile, but there's one with like a Samus kind of one that has like a face that opens and everything, like a helmet. I'll show you that rig now. It's way more complicated. So just start super simple, super easy. This one is a little complicated, and the reason for that is because this game, like this character's head could come off, and the top of his skull could change to different things, and that's why they're in separate pieces, but normally they wouldn't be, right? Uh, it's because the head could move, and because the, the head could literally transport, so it had to be separate, and then the top of the head could be swapped out. So again, it had to be separate. Uh, but normally it would be all one mesh. Um, but yeah, if you look at the eyes... Sorry. Okay. Um, 
so there's going to be, it's like a spherified sphere. I literally started with a sphere. And, oh, this is actually a sphere. Uh, but I should have started with a spherified box. Um, and then when you get to like these kind of areas, essentially you can, you can like delete a hole out of it and then shape it into the shape of an eye. Um, and the eye itself is literally a sphere that's textured to have an eye texture. And that's if you have, if you want to do an eyeball. Um, again, I would suggest not to do that when you're for your first character. Just do like a basic head shape and paint on the eyes or something, just for the first one. Um, if you want to go try it, go for it. Uh, but it is it is a lot more difficult. And again, the same with the ears. The ears are literally just like a box that I like put in there and then deleted a hole and just welded them together to the shape of the ear. So it's just it's I had a box, sarified it, shaped the head, and then stuck on the extremities and just welded them together. Um, and then cut a hole, cut a hole in both sides for the eyes. Um, so if I make a new document, I, I can show you the the super fancy one actually, which is not even that fancy. There's way more complicated rigs. Um, quick access. So if you look at that one, um, the wireframe is a lot more complicated, first of all. And each of those little boxes is something called a bone. And we'll be making, we'll be making this, basically. We, a skeleton consists of bones, and every bone um, is rigged to a part of the mesh. So you have like a, literally a bicep, a bicep bone and a forearm bone. And when you move the bicep bone, you would bind all these part of the body to it so it would act as if the as if it was a real bone in your human body that was moving all the bits with it okay so if you look at the one that i have on each of those little squares is a bone and you can see anywhere that it has any kind of animation like for the eyes like eyelids need a bone and eyes need a bone the mouth has like bones and when it animates you essentially move all the bones and because you've moved the body to it you've rigged the body to it um the parts move with the bone movements okay but this is way more complicated stuff you'd like i wouldn't expect this from you at all you're not even at the end of the year um so it is it is just kind of a, a notion of where you can go you can get even more complicated than this i've seen really complicated rigs um, this one i think um i didn't work on it full time it was part of like teaching a different course so it was six hours every week for like a semester so whatever you have for so six hours by 13 weeks mm -hmm. so that's what is that mm. like that's 96 hours right six by, six by 13 yeah is that nice 17 78 78 is it 78 yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, so 78 and then add on like a week basically of extra extra work so 78 hours plus, extra, plus a week, essentially, almost full time for a week, and then tweak it all together. Um, that was texturing, modeling, animation, yeah. rigging, stuff like that. So it takes a long time. It's a really long time. Uh, and this this is an example of high poly to low poly as well, by the way. <laughs> this one was sculpted in high poly and retopologized down to low poly. That's why you get a lot of detail and stuff on it. So if you want to see the full one again, it's on my it's on my um, models page. And you can see the full actual. Where's it gone? I don't know where it's gone. Is Why do I? For her neck to just not connect yeah, so that's the thing. Um, you'll see that a lot in these kind of models. If because I knew that she was going to wear armor, and you're never going to see her like under skin, it's no point. Just hide, just block it off, and there's no point for it to actually be connected. If it needs to be connected, it needs to be connected. But it didn't in this case, so I just like put that. There's no point. Um, so yeah, you can see that, and that's with all the textures and everything and animated. Um, and you can't even see the neck connection there because it's hidden. Okay. Now again, I did this after like I've been modeling for years, so you know, don't. Then and this is I, I'm still unhappy with a lot of parts of it, um, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't take this. And again, that's like 13 weeks of work. So I'm not expecting this kind of stuff. Uh, I am expecting stuff more like um, like this little fella. 
something like that. Um, so kind of really simple characters for now, and then we can go more complicated later. Here we go. Okay, so we will do, we'll have to model something first before we can actually animate it. I have two options for you. I can give you a character that you just learn how to rig and animate, or would you prefer to create your own? I'd like to learn how to create a character. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and do one really quick so I don't like waste too much time. Should we do it I say no. Oh, yeah, because I not want to. Yeah, it's just because it's recorded and stuff. Um, so you can you can look at it anyway. I'm just going to try and do a really simple, quick one. Um, and hopefully then if you get stuck or whatever when you're making your own, we can, you know, it should, maybe it'll help you. Um, I will make a, just a generic character, like a human human-ish character, and I'm going to make it chibi just because it's easier. So first thing is I'll probably snap this box to the center, and I'll scale it, and I'm going to start with the torso. I'm going to start with the torso. Uh, or I'll start with the head. I'll start with the torso. So I'm going to do that, and I'm literally just trying to get the overall shape. Um, see, give me a character. Hey, Ian. Do you have a character? Yes, the name. I like a, a cute, simple one, if you have one. I need a pale. Oh, really? That's. Do you have a humanoid one? Can, Just, I, can I give you a human character from a movie you can make a TV version of it for me? Oh, no. What's it going to be? Elmo's from Nicky Blanc. Just Ooh. Barbie, basically. Elmo's from Nicky Blanc. What's her name? Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, I know, but what's her name in the thing? Elmo's. Um, she wears lots of pink. Legally bond. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I probably can't do the little flary skirt. I'll probably do like a skirt that's like together. Um, well, she's going to be chibi, like, so she's going to look tiny. All right, cool. So I definitely want like an hourglass shape and little, what you call it? Um, what are these things? High heels. Um, so let yeah, me try. I'm not doing a chihuahua. <laughs> I'm probably not even doing a handbag, so we'll see. Um, so I'm going to try and get the... Someone's definitely done a chibi of her. I mean, it's basically any generic chibi. C-H-I-B-I. Okay, so that's not that helpful, but what else? Okay, cool. So yeah, she's just a generic, like, kind of... It's just more her color or whatever. Huh? Okay, you can do it. It's fine. Um, so generally chibi, if you don't know what chibi is, just Google chibi. It's generally like really big head and small proportions, as you can see in the Wikipedia. Like the head is basically the same size as the body, essentially. That's pretty much chibi. Like there's variations or whatever, but generally it's like that. Um, and they're just easy to do for the first one because you have a giant head, so you, it's really easy to do facial features and stuff. Um, and then the body's tiny, so even if it's a bit silly animation, people, you know, you get away with it because it's chibi. So let me do the body first. I'm going to do like, it's, it, they're always a little squash, as you can see. The body is like a basic child proportion, squished body. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to try to make this body shape um, hourglass figure. So I need to have some segments for that. Height segments. Uh, let's do that. Let's see what. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do that. And you can either do an FFD on it um, if you want, or you can do like I'm just gonna directly edit it. Cool. And essentially, I'm just pinching her waist here, and I'm gonna leave that as her bottom of her dress. So let's squish that in a bit. And then this part, upper body is a bit smaller because uh, I'm going to try and exaggerate the hip part. So I'll do that. And let's see. And I know it looks like a fucking trapezoid, right? Now, but that's. Okay, cool. And then I'll grab the edges because obviously I don't want to look like a box. So I'm going to grab all these edges. Should grab that. And if you select all these, you can just do. The ring, yeah, and it just keeps slacking all the way down. And I will chamfer them, so I'll get like a 
a rounded shape because obviously humans are kind of roundedy. Cool. And squish those. And you can see I've kind of like from the top kind of looks like a diamond, and that's from the from the front. Um, and I'm not worrying about smoothing groups yet. I'll go in the end and fix all the smoothing groups and stuff. Um, is that okay so far? All right, cool. Um, I am also going to move this down. So that's like her decolletage or whatever. That's like her this part, collarbone area. And let me just delete that. So I'm, I will do some extruding. Let's grab that. Extrude. And I'm trying to basically build her neck here. So coming up to this area, I probably do need a few more polys because her neck's going to need, like, you know, polys to bend and stuff like that. Yes? I have a question about um, 3DS Max in general. You know, like, over in the theme store? Yeah. You know, layers. Yeah. Is that kind of like folder? Yeah. Like, uh, no, so layers were... They're useful for certain things if, like, you want to hide everything. You know, like, if you're, like, um, ideally what you should do, for example, if you're, treating, if you're animating, you would have the, the mesh, the model, on one layer, and then you'd have, like, say, all the bones and everything in a different layer, and you can just, like, hide that layer if you don't want to see it and stuff like that. It's just, it's kind of like folders, yeah, I guess. The reason I'm asking is just because, like, say, for example, you do an arm, like, on a really high level detailed model, and yeah. you like, the top of the arm, the elbow, and the bottom of the arm, the hat. You want to like child them almost to each other so that they're all in the one, do you know, like in the one space that you can turn them on and off by themselves. So it's just so that it just cleans up your scene explorer so it's just not a mess of objects. Yeah, it's not just a giant list of stuff. You yeah. can use layers, yeah. I don't, don't group stuff, just use layers. If you have. Yeah, no, because I was trying to figure out if you can use all this new scene explorer. And I, put, I um, googled it and I tried to figure out, and the only way that I came back was with um, using layers. Yeah, it probably is the best way. Um, it's uh, it should be in customize. I think show UI and no, it's not. Where's layers again? It's view. I just right clicked on the scene explorer and create a layer. Uh, there is a layers like on a where you right click in the scene explorer here. Yeah, that where it's right there. Boop, there. Boop, boop, boop. You're a little bit ahead of us. Sorry. I don't see it. I haven't used layers in forever. To be honest. Oh, it's right here. It's like the little kind of, yeah, the little four trees, three, three kind of like planes on top of each other. Yeah. You can sort things by layer. So you can yeah, put things right in a, on, yeah. into different layers and stuff. And you can right click and create a layer. And then you can, uh, I think you can drag nowadays, can you? Oh, no, you can't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you should be able to like go to the layer management. There should be a window that you can like. Arrange which things go into which layers. Where's the layer window? I haven't used layers in a very long time. Layer Explorer. Where is it? Main toolbar, toggle layer explorer. And where is toggle layer explorer? Oh, scene explorer. There we go. Scene Explorer? Scene Explorer? Ah, there we go. There's the Layer Explorer. Um, and then you can just kind of... Oh, sugar. can't move it. Why can't I move it? Anyway, it should show up as a window. Mine's squished off to the side. I don't know why. Uh, but you can, you can open each one and see what's inside it. And you can select objects and assign them to different layers and stuff. And hide them and not hide them. So, like, that's hidden. Sorry. And sorry, go on. What was the question? What was the question? No, that, that, no, was, that it. was it. Okay. Um, so I've made the neck and stuff like this, but I can, kind of forgot something, which is from the front, she's okay. She's got like a neck shape and like a bit of an hourglass shape. Um, however, if I look at her from the side, I've been a bit stupid because she looks like a vase, which is not what humans look like. So um, I'm just going to try. I actually probably need a segment here. So I'll try and cut a segment there. Um, my, why did you tell me to make a layer? Everything's breaking up. No, it's cool. All right, it's cool. I fix it. Um, so I'm just gonna cut here, connect that, and I need to connect there because I'm gonna grab this area. And even if you're doing high poly stuff, by the way, you kind of want to, 
you kind of want to keep it very low poly when you're modeling it first because it's easier to edit all the vertices. And then later on when you add more vertices, you can kind of push it more. So I'm trying to get this like, um, you know, that back shape, that kind of curve in the back. I don't know how far away I am in, in, in that video, but I'm trying to get that back curve shape. And I'll probably add more polys here as well. So I can get a bit of a butt. And you kind of need a bit of a butt because um, if you don't, it'll look like when they're walking, it, it just goes like, it kind of squishes in, the butt will kind of squish. So you kind of need a bit of a kind of um, push out the back. Um, and this for guys and girls, obviously, it's the same kind of problem. So I'm trying to do, and let me connect that as well. I think that's okay. That doesn't need to go that far. So that's, hopefully you can see that's kind of more of a normal human body shape than seen from profile. Like uh, if, it's, if it's a female, like it's kind of have that curve and the, the spine pushes in and like there's a push at the back for the butt and the front isn't obviously as pushed out because um, so I forgot to do that aside and now that now make sure the front is okay as well because this part seems a bit too sticky out. Okay. And you're trying to keep the lines as with not too much of an angle. Basically you don't want something like this. Uh, you'll have to wait for it. You kind of you kind of want to keep them in a nice curve. Cool. I think that's okay. All right. Cool. So we got a human body. The head's up there, and then I have essentially like, oh sugar, I need to save. What's her name again? <laughs> Say it slowly, please. L Woods. L Woods is her first like name. Michelle is like Michelle is her name. She goes by L, so E L L. Oh. Woods is her surname. L Woods. Okay. And then what's the last one? L Woods, and then what's the last one? That's it? That's it. Her That's first her name is L. Her second name is Woods. You, you were fully going L Woods something. L Woods! We're legally blonde! Can you take away the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, I might actually add another... Just because like, if I look from the side... Her chest area is like a point, and I don't really want that kind of like, I want a bit of a softer curve. So I'll add, it. yeah, exactly, <laughs> it is. So I'm gonna add another another segment there, just for that area, just to make it curve out, and I'll just make it a lot more. Did you just? What? What? Did you sit, okay, never mind. And um, it, it may take a little while, but this is really important, like trying to get your actual body shape right, because even if it looks okay, but the the kind of segments don't follow an actual body shape, when you go to animate, it'll be all screwy up. Um, so again, I'm trying to make it so that like, uh, if where I need to have a segment wherever I think the body's gonna bend, essentially. Um, and this is kind of something that only will come with experience. Uh, and doing these a lot. Okay, cool. I think that's okay. Um, does it look like a human thingy to you? Like at least a chibi version? It looks like a torso. Yeah. Does, does, it, does it look like that? If it looks like that, then it's fine. That's all we need. Are we making a chibi chibi? Yeah, I would suggest yes. Yes. Chimichurro. Okay, so now I'm going to do an arm just to show you how to do an arm. Um, and look at this area here that I've made. And I didn't do this really on purpose. I was trying to get the shape of the body right. And if you get the shape of the body right, you essentially have like an armhole that's there, right? Um, I can fit an arm in there if you can, if you can kind of imagine. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six sides, 
which means if I make a six-sided cylinder, I know I can weld it there and it'll fit. Just because yeah. I, I've, I've been welding stuff like outside of class and I've been welding stuff together and I find that I do tend to air lock if I have. Is it not possible to weld something that, say, eight sides against something that's six? It is. It is. Um, it is possible, but you'll get stuff like this. I got um, pinching quite a lot and I got parts yeah. that were great, like, I'd say bending in some ways. Exactly. So, like, if I have, like, a, let's say that's that. I'm trying to weld these two together. Yeah. You can. They'll fit. But essentially, like, um, you'll have to do something like this. I found myself just creating you'll have an to have extra a try. version for vertex, vertex. You'll have to have a try, basically. You'll yeah. have to have a bunch of tries. You can do it. It's just a little messy, um, but you, you can. And again, those tries, when you go to animate, they'll kind of, like, stretch it. So know, it's better struggling. to... It's yeah. better to fit it, yeah. exactly. It's not the end of the world if you can't, because sometimes you, you can't. Uh, but it is always generally better. So as I said, there's two ways. You can either like um, extrude from this part using the border tool and just extrude from there and keep going to make the arm. Um, or you can create a cylinder or whatever that fits in and then weld it in. One thing I will also kind of like say is... Um, the old school, I don't know if you ever play games and the glitch or if you ever saw where they do this. I was going to ask about yeah. T-Pose, is it better to model in T-Pose? So this, this is a T-Pose which it, you need to be modeling in some form of T-Pose. The reason okay. for this T-Pose, where it's exactly 90 degrees, is in the older days, it is a lot easier when you're rating, when you're making a, um, the animation. What happens is every bone has something called an area of influence. So if I have a... If a if I have like um, that mod, this is a mesh, right? And then I have a little bone inside it. That bone has a thing called an area of influence, and it'll kind of grab all the areas around it. Now you can go in and control it. You can go and like edit it carefully. But as you put a bone in, then you tell it, hey, look at the meshes around you. Grab those areas. Um, automatically, it'll grab everything like within this kind of radius. If that makes sense. Um, so the reason why they had it like this is because if I had it too close, if you imagine my arm bone, the radius would start to grab bits of my chest, and then when I pulled up, it would kind of like rip up and literally pull up like that. It's as if like I, I got it, my, my sweater stuck to my arm, and it would literally do stuff like that. So um, it's actually so handy wearing a sweater for this. I've never done it before. Um, so like you, that's why you had the T-pose, so you cut the bones as far away from each other as possible. As I said, you can edit it. So even if this is happening, you can go in and tell these parts to like, hey, ignore that bone, and they'll slowly ignore that bone and snap back to the correct bones. So you can. It's just extra work. Um, so that's why they did it. Now the thing is, nowadays we don't have a T pose. We have something called a 45 T pose. So it's like it's we call those the names or a 45 pose, and you see this a lot. Um, they kind of have basically 45 degree angle. Okay. Um, and the reason for this is. Slightly the same thing. If I have the bone, it doesn't grab, and it's easier to get in here when I'm modeling to to, add, to, just, to kind of like edit it. But the bigger reason is the shoulder. So if I have a mesh that's modeled like this, if you see my shoulder, like I don't know if you can see, but you see it's slightly rounded. And then if I pull up that sh that round squishes a little bit. Okay, uh, if I was way more buff, you'd see it. Um, <laughs> but on a because apparently my gym exercise. Oh my god. Okay, now the problem though, if, it is, if I model it like this, and if I model that flat, when I move down, this part would often squish flat because it's being stretched loads. So that's why they do the 45. So if I move up, it gets squished. If I move down, it gets stretched a little bit, but it emulates real life a lot more. So that's why they do the 45. Okay? Um, again, if you it's your first model, so if a T-pose is easier because you know, if you're making a cylinder and just shoving it in to the side, it's way easier. If you want to do that, completely fine. If you want to try the depots, the 45, go for it. I'm going to try a 45, and we'll see. So, uh, what did I say the slides were? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I make a six-sided cylinder, six-sided, six-sided cylinder. So I'm going to make a six-sided, and I'm actually going to put no segments in it yet. I want to cut the segments myself. So um, you can do either way. You can have a cylinder with segments and then FFD it or model it so it has a shape, but I'm just going to do it myself. Um, obviously edit poly. Um, 
I'm going to do something like that. So I'm going to model it 90 degrees first, and then I'll rotate it 45 later, because it's easier to model things in, uh, in 90 degrees. So the length of it will probably be... She's, again, a chibi character, so... I do later, but right now I'm okay. I'm just going to try and get the uh, length of the arm. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm going to cut a segment there. No, yeah. And I kind of want, because it's chibi, if you look at the chibi characters, they kind of have, like, um, from the arm, they kind of squishes down. It gets thinner, so I'm going to do that to the end. So I'll grab those. Squish them down towards the end. And squish this down towards the end. Cool. And now here's where I need to add my segments, as I said. You need to have the a cut here and a cut here. Do you remember to do cuts and stuff? Yeah? Okay, cool. Slice pane's perfect. So I'm going to do a slice pane. Where's... I can, but if I connect them, they'll go directly to the middle. That's the issue. Yeah. So it's it's fine. I can, and then I can move it later. I want to keep this shape. So where is the suspect? There we go. Um, start of it. Where, sir? That this this is going to be the armpit here. This is the elbow that I'm trying to do. So I'm going to slice that, and again I'm doing do a tree slice. And I'm going to try to do that advanced thing that they were doing. Oh, sugar. Um, which is basically where the elbow bends. Here, they connect those. And same here. Bob, I know you said that you're going to do this moving groups later, but just in terms of chibi characters, Yo. are they like low poly or do they be rounded? Or does that just depend about like just creating this ground? So say the question again, if 3D characters, are no, they... No, no, just chibis in general. Yeah. So I'm not familiar with them. Are they normally rounded, like smoothed, or are they normally like low poly and have... Oh, hard edge and stuff. Yeah. Normally they're rounded. Yeah. Okay. Chibis are usually they're like cute and stuff like that. Okay. Cool. And then um, and then also I think what they did is they grabbed these parts and brought them closer to each other to emulate the elbow kind of move. Cool. So that's the fancy version. Um, and then the other thing I can do is if you look again at an arm again, if it was buffer, you can see it more. It kind of goes out a bit and then it squishes in again. And the same with the with the bicep, it kind of bulges up and parts with the bicep is. Even it even does it slightly, even if uh, for people that are not buff. So I'm gonna do the, oh sugar. Okay, so I will need a slice pane for this. I wanna keep it 90 degrees. I'm gonna cut it here, slice. And essentially kind of bulge that out a bit so I get a forearm. And the same up top as well. So here, I'm going to slice that and bulge it out a bit so I get biceps. Oops, shit. So you can see I'm getting that kind of like arm shape. Um, so it's like a little, again, a little vase shape almost. Um, cool. I'm going to deal with the hand later. Am I going to make a full hand? Ugh. Effort. Are they making a mitten kind of hand? Yeah, I think we should make mittens for this. Um, another thing as well, if I look at arm from the side, it generally is like an oval shape. It's not like completely round, especially the forearm. It's actually an oval shape, but... Oh, it's, oh, but kind of like oh yeah, but that's is like crazy high poly stuff. Yeah, you definitely need the bed and stuff. But to like f for for the purposes of what we're doing, it's very basic. You know, it's essentially the bed is there, but it does kind of squish in as well. So we'll do like a little squish hole. So I'm just gonna flatten this area a bit to emulate that. Cool. All right. And her, she's actually sub off, so I'm gonna drop that. In. Okay, Q. Um, that's more or less the arm, and hand mittens are gonna be. I'm gonna try to extrude them. See if I can do that. Let's go 
push that down like that. Leave me alone. <laughs> and then I can cap it. Cap it and make sure to quad it as well. Um, and for a thumb, what I'll generally do is um, I'll cut into the segment here actually. Connect that. And from the top, I'm going to try and make a palm shape. Because again, palm shape is rounded here, it's more straight here, and then the thumb comes out. So I try to do that. So a little rounded here, here is straighter. Uh, and again, if you're not sure, just like literally go and look at mittens, like because they they essentially look like this. And here where the thumb is, I'll just extrude that up. And cut that. Cool. And I have a cute little mitten. Adorbs. Um, cool. So now I need to connect these to each other. So I'm going to attach them, first of all. And move that into the right position. And personally, I find there's loads of ways to do this. The easiest way I find is to actually put it in the right position first. So it's 45 I want. Let me put it there. <laughs> and as if like trying to imagine where it would actually be grand I think that's okay and then I'll grab those two holes and I will bridge them so you can see it gets all squished and stretched it's not great like which is terrible so I need to fix that but uh, at least they're connected so I can connect this and now I go into oh sugar I'll go into edit so you need a shoulder, you definitely need a shoulder. Um, and I'm trying to just get the overall shape correct um, before I go on to like making more connections and stuff. So I'm working from a low poly, very low poly, before I go higher poly. And it looks like a box, but it'll, it'll be okay at the end. Oh, I need one here, I think. Yeah, I need to round it up here. <coughs> yeah, so sometimes I may need to add segments. <laughs> because I want to have a rounded shape. Where is she again? What's oh, fucking Ellen Woods? Um, oh, she's bare shouldered. Well, okay, she's wearing a dress in this one. I don't care. Yay! Cool. All right, so I am. Um, I don't know if it's caught up yet, but you can kind of see that the shape's not bad. Like it's got. I've got an arm there. Um, and the thing with character modeling is personally. I would always model half of it. I'd model like the right half or left half, and then we can symmetry it over. How do you exactly do you do that? A symmetry? Yeah, is, is that a modifier? It is. Um, can I finish it and then I'll do yeah, it again? Yeah? Sorry. All right, cool. Um, so I've got the arm. Now, the great thing about the arm is that it's essentially a leg. Arms and legs have a joint, and they have an elbow thing. What? <laughs> Arms and legs? In a way, they kind of are. Um, so let me just grab this part because I don't. I obviously don't need the hand. But if I move that down there and rotate it back up to ninety degrees, well, it's forty-five degrees, and scale it, um, I have leg. I also remember I need to rotate it um, completely because remember this is the front, like that was the elbow, the 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 bendy bit. Um, I also need to make the elbow stick out a bit. Okay, cool. 
So this will be my knee instead of my elbow. So that will be facing forwards, actually. Are you laughing at her? And this part will squish it a bit more because that's the back of the knee. And can you see like I've got a backwards leg? Mm -hmm. Right, so just yeah, rotate. Backwards. Huh? Why oh, just because when I, because the, Is the blow your mind, the arm uh -huh. is a backwards leg. Because oh, <laughs> your leg bends this way, but your arm bends this way. Shit. So you just need to rotate it. So I'll rotate that 90 degrees. I kind of like more arms or her arms today. I know that's just the pose, like, but that's kind of how she walks anyway. What with her arms? Oh, like. She's like she, fair. Yeah, no, she walks like her hands are like. If I animate, I'll, I'll probably animate like that. Oh, oh my god, gosh, bend yeah. and snap, do it. <gasps> What's? Oh, really? The bend. The, yeah. And snap. Oh, that's another classic. Oh please. All girls know what we're talking about, okay? Do they? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were weird out of you. We're the only one. No, Amber and Carrie, I have to know. Girl. 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 <laughs> oh my god, Carrie. Yes. This and um, 30 girl on 30. And I'm going to be so excited. Oh my god, she, 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 so again, it's chibi, so I'm squishing down the proportions quite a bit. Um, come to the little poly. Oh, I didn't turn it around all the way. Oops. Cool. And let me see if it goes in there. How is that going to work? So I'll need to widen. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I need to. So I'm actually kind of cheating because it's a dress. So I'm just gonna shove it into the dress and hide it there. But normally I would have to. Do it. Um, I probably shouldn't. I'm actually gonna show you how to do like a full, a full hip and pelvis because otherwise, yeah. Just um, in terms of like a dress because it, you're, it looks like you're doing like a pencil kind of skirt. Dress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brie, for her like low poly model, she has like a really short bob cut, and I think it's just like. One poly that's double sided. With yeah, that yeah, yeah. This. You can do for this, but uh, what I mean is, I want to show it as if she's wearing like uh, a jumpsuit or something. Oh. Uh, because I need to show you, you need to know how to do the hip and pelvis, right? Um. So now's a good time to do symmetry because this will actually help me. Because if I do a pelvis, I need to have. <coughs> it needs to be even, and like here's the hip more or less. I need to have this basically. Like there's a little bit of a gap, and this is where people often make mistakes. There is a gap. Like the, the pelvis is like that. Your legs don't come out like completely pinched. There's a there's a little bit of a gap there, and that yeah, gap makes right. it look a lot more natural. Okay, so don't like it's a small one, but do do have that small gap in there because otherwise the legs will literally like mesh into each other. Um, guys and girls doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Um, you all have it. Don't fucking learn the biology. Open the biology book sometime. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is try to make that here. So I will actually get rid of the skirt, which is real sad because I like skirt. Yeah. Um, Can we put the skirt flunk over? The yeah, I'll make, a, I'll make a copy and I'll see what we can do after. Yeah, sure. Okay. GTFO. Uh, and then, yeah, get rid of the skirt. So let me just think here for a second. I will need, I'll definitely need the hip. So I'm going to do it on one side, and then again, I'll mirror it over later. So I'll need the hip here, right there. And Did you not slide the plane directly up the middle of her, and then delete half, and then just mirror that? I, yeah, that's that's what I want. Okay, oh my god, I'll just do it now because you're on the case. So I can add a symmetry modifier. Where is symmetry? Cool. And you see the way it just automatically symmetries. If I turn this on, show end result, um, click that on, it just shows you the end result. So as I'm animating, it'll show me what's happening. I didn't really want to do this because now I'm not sure where these parts are. Essentially, what this is doing is it is slicing down the middle and 
and welding them together. So try that, set more of a pelvis shape. What? You have to turn this on. You have to turn this on, but it still keeps on, yeah. Ugh. This is effort. Okay. So I'm going to have to do a lot of editing here. Because I made it as a skirt, and now I'm trying to basically shoehorn the leg in there. Oh, what? Don't tell me the power cable isn't working now as well. They're tiny. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> has anyone got power there? It's just that book. I don't need the HDMI. Fine. Can you like? Can you, I just see if this is there. Yeah. No. Yes. So that one is just screwed. Okay, so everything here is screwed. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. I know. Um, cool, so this leg needs to go here. And it needs to kind of, because she's got like this kind of leg thing where she like, you know, they squish together. Here, more or less. Uh, I'm going to detach these legs because they're kind of getting in the way. So sometimes it's good to like, just detach them. So you can model everything else around them. Okay, how am I going to do this? Come on, love. Uh, can you see can you see what's happening okay on the stream? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I forgot I made a skirt so big. It's because it was a skirt, so I wanted to exaggerate it. Now it's wrecking me because I have to actually pull it back in. Why did I make a skirt at first? It's your fault. Okay. So I would have done like a bat shape instead. Now it's my brain. 3D modeling's hard, guys. Okay, what do we need to connect here? I'm going to get rid of symmetry because it's actually annoying me. And I'll just like. I'll get it, I'll put it back later. Because you got rid of it, is that? I can always put it back on again. But did that get rid of all the stuff that you've done? Yeah. Hmm. No, no, uh, the stuff on the other side. Yeah. So I can do, I can do this, and it's it's still there. And I'll just edit poly it again, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, it's fine, it's still. She looks buff as hell. She looks buff. Yeah, like her iron. Yeah, it's like crying. Oh, it's because I was trying to make a puffy shoulders. Um, Wait, this, does this mean that you've never seen the Yvonne? I have, yeah. <laughs> I don't generally memorize fictional character names. I, I have I have other things that I need to memorize. So. <laughs> what? You had that one. What's whose full name? 
Steve? I have no idea. Oh, Hannah's song. That's real sad. Why would you cleanse a demon deal? I had to think about it, though. And I literally play that character every, well, every other day. So, not like a movie that I watch. And when did Legally Blonde even come out? They make another one. They're making another one. I'm very excited. Yeah, but it's not out yet, so. Maybe they'll change her but name. But they just made the stage production like a year ago, right? You went over it. Uh, no, but it's been out a while. I've been looking for it. Do I look like I watch stage productions? And I'm great. 2001. Holy shit. It's fucking yeah. 20 years old. It's seven. No, it's not 18. It's not 15. It's okay. I kind of hope the, the street picked that up. I think it did. So I, I'm having to cut in. Because I didn't have a, I didn't have a butt. I had a skirt, uh, which was just like a kind of shape. I'm actually having to cut in more connections to actually make a real butt. Um, and laugh all you like, but you kind of need this because otherwise it won't animate like a real butt would, and it wouldn't work correctly. I found a puddle last night of what's your one from Lilo and Stitch? Oh, this is Nani. Yeah. Nani. And, that model, Nani. <laughs> and that model was extraordinary detailed. Uh, but still in record. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not safe to work. Let's just put it that way. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. On no, sketch Just when you turn on the wire frame. I'm, I'm showing the one. I don't, I don't, I don't, do, I want, do I want to know? I don't, I don't know. Want to know. I don't really know. I really don't. It's too late to apologize. No, really? No, it's just like it's just like polys. Like she has boobs, so they're like there's lots of polys where. Oh wow! Why would you bother? And then lots of polys where her legs meet. Like, like it. Kind of the shape, like, Crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at that. That's ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> Maybe they're practicing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, totally. I like that she has like two belly buttons. Oh my god, there's a lifeguard one. Hold on. And that one's by the same dude. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute, though. It's a good model. Oh, she's really glossy, like she just came out of the water. Don't think. Yep. Same? Yeah. Not, it's not as bad, though. Oh, I'm, I'm... Yeah, not bad. I think it's a good model. It's a great model. Pokemon. Okay, so like kind of don't do what I did. Plan what you're actually doing from the start. Because if you try to make a skirt into a hip, you're going to have problems. Like I am. I'm getting there. So it's a lot of kind of like individual working with stuff slowly. Oh no, twist here. Work okay? Yeah. Try and put a symmetry and see what it looks like. How would you go know about making the gap though? I've done it. I just need to weld them together. Can you see it? Yeah. There's a problem. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. There's a there's a problem though because I, I think I need another segment here at least. 
because uh, it doesn't look doesn't look great. She did. She got that fatty ass. But that's 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 chibis in general. Like they kind of need to be. Turn that on. Can you stop perving the model something? She's not gonna model the mirror. Huh? Yeah? Model of a mirror. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm So again, very slow, very effort. She looks like Kim, did you say? She looks like the Kardashian. What is her name? <laughs> the Kardashian. The I don't watch. She's like an alien like trying to communicate. <laughs> now, I, I love the Kardashian. Yes. I, which one? The large one. Why doesn't the large Kardashian simply eat the smaller Kardashian? <laughs> okay, I'd like to do that. I'd like to that. Hazel, put all that in by yourself. <laughs> what? I like how you have to clarify you didn't say that. It just happened 10 seconds <laughs> Why did we change from a skirt? Because we don't. What kind of animations are we going to have to do for this assignment? Just walking cycle or any funky? Um, essentially. Everything that a a normal character would have to do. So walk. idle, walk, jump, fall, um, run if you want to be fancy. But uh, say what do you say? I have a good idea. You have a good idea for what? For my chibi. Chibi. What's it gonna be? <coughs> I make a Trixie Mattel. <coughs> oh. She's kind of this shape in real life. So. <laughs> what shape in real life? This shape. This that I'm doing. Yeah, like this. That's all her padding that she wears. Yeah. They wear. <laughs> okay, cool. And then when I'm done here, I will throw another edit pot or collapse yeah. editable poly. And then I'll try and fix this gap here. I'll literally just cap it and connect up the sides. Um, is that good? It's not great. What? No, I know. I'm just. I'm gonna have to redo that. I'll have to connect all the way here because it's way too like flat. Okay. I think that's all right. Uh, and as I said, this you're you're gonna have you're gonna be screwed with a few tries here and there. That's that's kind of like what you have to do, unless you're gonna add more polys. That's her back. She yeah, I made her a bit thick, but what can we do? Yeah, it's from 2001 when, like, when they were, like, flat. 20 years ago? Yeah, 20 years ago when everyone was, like, flat, flat. I don't think you can change your body shape professionally. Yeah. Yeah, but when... Oh, you mean, like, as in exercise wise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also... <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I did. But, like... Are you still... Yeah, it's kind of like... 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 Y
woman who hustles her course all the time, she got a bunch of her to books yeah. about the Chinese ways in the world, and now her organs are told to protect So she gets a knock, she can poke her organ. Like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Crazy. Pigeon shit. flies into her, she's dead. <laughs> a pigeon. We could just turn it, this into Kim Kardashian with the shape of it, that would be really funny. Okay, just, okay, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, sorry. You're the one who wanted a dress, and then halfway through. I didn't say that, I just said a character's name. Yeah, uh, well, alright. Okay, good. Uh, so again, I'm still going to keep working on the same side because I can just, um, I can later go and symmetry fly it. So this is how I'm going to make a foot. Let's squish too much. Are you putting our heels? Yeah. Does it work okay? Um, now I can do two things. I can continue extruding into a, sh a shape of a shoe, or I can also just make a shoe and just shove it in there, which might be the easiest thing to do. Really? Uh, yeah, why not? I, was, I thought about making it. Like, part of it? Yeah. We can like, make it part of it. Uh, so, like, it instead of making an extra shoe, like, would you not just make the heel part really funky? Well, that's kind of what I'm going to do now, okay. but um, I don't have to. Like, I could just... Because that way I can make any shoe shape I want. Whereas now I'm kind of locked into. Bigger. She wears huge platforms, doesn't she? Not platforms, but she wears stilettos. Stilettos? Yeah. Mm. Like a little clicking wheel. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, platforms are too extra. <laughs> too extra. She wears those little pink socks. Yeah, but it's stilettos, not a platform. <laughs> it's good that we have such experts on. Yeah, that's a platform. She's definitely not wearing it. She's wearing stuff about socks. Wait, so she is wearing platforms? No. What's your... What? <laughs> okay, so you see the way it's kind of wobbly? It's all like squished up. I can do this thing called... Um, control, click the vertex. I can do a thing called make planar, which flattens them out. Oh. It's very handy. Yeah, I would uh, that yesterday. Yeah, I just make them try as and it seems to work. Like, yeah. Where uh, is that make planar thing? I'm trying to find oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Where'd it go? Definitely do it with at a geometry. There we go. Make painter X Y Z. So depending on which like. What do you have to have glasses to get that? You have to have the points, yeah. Yeah, or whatever you want to make painter essentially, it'll paint with them. So you could in theory slice the face. Yes, uh, theory. Cool. And it'll align them to. X, Y, or Z. And if you just click make planar by itself, it'll average all the I mean, as flat as possible to the average. <coughs> cool. And then 
I don't know how I'm going to do stiletto heels. Honestly, girl, I say that every night. <laughs> no, I don't. I wear boards. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I wore heels, though. I thought, what? I can't even move that. What? Are you talking to me? Yeah. What was the question? Just you remove like a connection that way. Oh, because it's just got too too much. If I need it, I'll put it back in. I don't think it did. Oh yeah, but it was getting messy, so I'll do. I'll put it back later. Um, after is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Where's my inside? Oh, come on. Sorry, my computer's getting very slow. I'm not sure why. Um, Oh, that selection thing. Yeah, it's a bit messy. I'm gonna get rid of this. this. So I'll do that foot thing that you were saying, keep the foot squished in, uh, stuck inside. Ah, this is annoying. Sometimes if you get stuck, it's actually easier to delete vertices and start again, because I'm thinking of doing it now. It's getting messy. It's not great. Either way, I'll, just, I'll leave it for now, but I probably would spend more time on this. Perfect. It actually doesn't. And connect. And that's the one that you wanted to do. So, and you, that's kind of why I got rid of it, because now I can make it fit the actual shape. Do. Yeah, but I'm going to do it in texture, to be honest, I think it's fine. Okay, cool. So, now, I'll symmetry it again, and then I have everything made. And she does have calculus. <laughs> Why did you say that? She looks like this before, but I'm not a really cute Well, hopefully that's what she'd be supposed to be. What do you mean cankles? Where are the cankles? Yeah. Okay, now it's time for the head. Jeez. So for the head, I'll do a box again. Is the head going to be huge? Yes. So I'm going to do another box. And I'll make the head, the, bo the box like. Ideally, I want to make it um, equal, so it's a perfect square. What about that box thing that you showed me the other day? It's almost like a rounded box. What? Remember when I asked you to help with that bloody monster? Shop the box. 
No, it's not. It's, it almost looks like a circle with pinch, like a sphere with pinch. Like a sphere with pinch. Is fire pie box? That one, yeah. That's the true one to do. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got a perfect box. I, I gave it like five. Doesn't matter what you give it really, as long as it's got a few segments. Oh, sugar. Snap to the center. And let me just get the proportion of the head right. It's probably something like that. A little bit less. And then I will certify that. And certify will basically turn it into a ball. And the reason why I do that instead of a sphere, because sphere's got the little pinch at the top and pinches at the bottom, whereas this gives me a lot more room to play with and work with. It's a lot easier to, to deal with um, than. And then I'll do an FFD on it to get it into the head shape. So generally, head shapes have, if you look from the front, um, let's see if we can go to a chibi again. Oh, here's uh, one of these. See the way they have this shape, where it's like um, it, it's flat in where the eyes are, and it just sticks out a bit for the nose and comes back in. That's kind of a chibi shape, so I'll do that, or as close enough to it as I can get. The back of the head usually stays more or less the same. Is that okay? And then I need to do it from the front as well. And on the front, if you look from the front, you have this kind of, it's not that rounded, like you need to. That kind of shape. On the top of the head, it's usually small-ish, smaller. I may have put too many segments to box, so hopefully I can go back down to the segments and change it now. Yeah, that's better. And because I, I still haven't collapsed anything, I can still go down to the box and edit it. Cool, and I have a chibi-ish head shape. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I need to go and look at her hair. It's not just a ponytail, is it? No. That would be so handy. Just in terms, like, would you make a, would you make a shape, like a tree beach? All kinds of hair, or would you use a flat, kind of? I don't know. I haven't looked at the hair yet. If you want to just make a ponytail, there is one iconic ponytail. What do you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Sorry, I'm crossing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do Ariana Grande. She just has a really long ponytail. She, oh, it comes up the top here. Who? Ariana, I'm looking at her. Okay. Okay, so she's got a really, she's got a really pointy skin. Some uh, pointy skin, pointy chin. Oh. So I'm gonna try and well, I mean, so does Reese with this one. And she's got a really skinny jaw, so even though it's chibi, I'm gonna try and emulate that. Shush, okay. I don't care. Of course, you fucking don't. So I don't know if you saw that, but I just made the jaw really skinny because that's kind of what her thing is. She's got quite a skin, small jaw, which is fair to say. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I'm probably not going to do a nose, but if I was, I'd probably make a different nose. Just put it in there and... and Why should orange on the head not be good? What? Go back. To like, seriously not important right now. That's just a sphere. I can make a sphere later. Um, so... Then... The rest is not that, that bad. It's just a cylinder for...
And she has it like, like weirdly on the middle top of her head or something, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's like. It's not offset, is it? No, no. It's like exactly in the center? And then this will need quite a few, um, quite a few, what we call it, height segments, because it needs to be able to animate and stuff. I'm going to think I'm obsessed with her. With him? Ariana Grande. Why? This is the third class that someone's brought her up. And people have been talking about her in class. It's not. It goes to a waste of anything. Well, sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Extensions. Yeah. Fair. I like the pink. <clears throat> so, cut that. And if we want, we can give facial features. Again, we don't really have to. Um, I can like put ears in and stuff. And again, you can do it the easy way where I just literally make an ear and just shove it in there. Or I can extrude it or I can try to actually connect them and stuff because the head, you're never going to wiggle the ears or like wiggle your nose and stuff like that. So it's okay if it's just like literally a no shape shoved in. That's fine. You're never going to move, so it's, it's grand. Um, cool. Let me just make a little nose for her. What's her nose like? Long and thin. Probably not gonna do ears, I think. I don't know. Should I? 
Are ears a big part of her thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure I'm oh, she does. It's not a big thing. Is it not? Looks not like a big, big thing for her. No, she for a while she was wearing those like loopy jewelry things in her hair. Yeah. Her thing is basically just like the ponytail and being tiny. Being tiny. I mean, what Real Don't even start. <laughs> okay. She well, does. My high boots are, okay. are you serious? Oh, wait, she already has little heels. Sorry. No, but the heels are like with her feet in, remember? Yeah. They're not thigh high. Yeah. 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 It's not fine. <laughs> it's gotta be. It's gonna be right. Okay, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Hope not. Tweeted to her like, I love you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give her a teeny tiny nose. Is that too big? They usually have smaller noses. They they may not have noses even. I don't know about the nose. I feel like it looks really strange. I think it looks real weird with the nose, yeah. No nose. And I don't know about ears. Let's try the ears and see. My love. Fully like Yeah, I think the ear is okay. It's a little bit monkeyish, but it's okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. So let me do a symmetry on that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. What's her thing? Like big hoop earrings? I guess hoops are kind of. Yeah, she does have hoops, doesn't she? Yeah, there's one right there. I have a. She's got giant hoops in them. Oh, I wasn't looking at your thing. I googled Ari Ponytail. Yeah, that's from her. That's from Seven Rings. That's her name in this video. Well, there you go. I'm actually being current. I'm gonna do a Taurus for that. Oh, jeez. <coughs> to make my life easier. With very few sides and very few segments. Make that smaller. Oh, and I need to unwrap all of this. That'd be so fun. You okay. I love the kind of like five-sided pointy hoop thing. Yeah. Definitely get them pennies for sure. Yes. Cracking on my face and the whole thing being the robots. She looks like a bitch. Like with the ponytail and the earrings. Like she looks like she beat you up. I'm just saying, I, I'm copying Ariana Grande, that's what I'm saying. Well, Ariana's ponytail doesn't get thinner, I thought it was a hair stick to her. Just a little bit, and she's a bit of a bitch. 
Yeah, it is pretty thick all the way, isn't it? Okay. Oh, whatever. Um, cool. And then maybe like a little necklace thing. So I didn't even need to do a neck at all. Because her choker basically hides everything. Hazel, Hazel, the one that was with you. Oh my god, no! <laughs> That's all I could see. Oh my god. It does. You ruined it! You ruined it! Now it's Will Smith Genie. <laughs> well, like a sexy lady, Will Smith. Yeah, with curves and heels. Why? Okay. Because she wears chokers all the time. Okay. Is she not? Yeah. Like literally everywhere, she's got either a choker or a little necklace thing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, love. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, she wears a lot. Yeah. There we go. It's done. Okay, cool. Um, that's it, right? She doesn't have any other defining characteristics. And the last thing I want to do is just make sure all the smoothing groups are essentially the same one. So I'll just go clear all, set them all to one. Because it's a character, so I don't want any real hard edges. And there we go. We've got a little tiny Ariana Grande. What do you do hard edges for the earrings? Hmm? Oh, maybe the earrings, like, yeah, maybe. Um, That's so cute. Isn't it? Oh, I like, I like. I can't stop seeing those switches. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to texture. I was like, I know this character. We're going to see the two in the same room with the same Okay, so the thing is, I, can, I have stopped there, because we got prototyping now. Um, but next week we'll have to basically rig and animate it, all right? And then the week after that, we'll have to go look at timeline and how to set up stuff using timeline for your cinematics essentially. Cool. Oh, so